Let it happen for a little, just a little another fucking second. Uh oh. You've made me take out my OH7s, and I'm very sad now. Um, this, this is a Q3. I think I've done them all now. I think I did the FIO Q1. Then there was the Q1 Mark. Wait, was there a Q2? No, there. Am I hallucinating? Hold Future Zeos. Just double check. FIO Q1, FIO Q1 Mark II. There was no Q2. I just realized we just went straight to the Q3. Okay, done. You know, fuck it. I guess you're yellow, says Fio. And it's essentially what the next iteration of the Fio Q1 would be, where it's just a little portable, battery-powered DAC amp, no Bluetooth. And I have to say that because, frankly, these things like this and the hip DAC... They're a very, very special thing. Like you have to want to hook it up with a wire to your phone or to jump over analog, or you may be traveling with your laptop. You need something small, pop it in there and you have quality on the go. I would almost think for just convenience sake, this is more aimed at laptop users than phone users. Like you can do it. This is the wires it comes with. It comes with a little Apple wire and a USB-C to USB-C wire. It comes with a little three and a half millimeter jumper wire. So it's it's designed for you to take it with you on your phone. But in reality, see, I, I'm out of touch with on the go audio files. First of all, it's 2020. Where the fuck are you going? Um, secondly, uh, how much, how many cock rings does Fio have to provide? Because they provide four, um, two normal size and two like, holy God. Those are those are big, but uh, so different size phones. So they really are. I'm gonna me wrap this up because this silver cable, this cable is probably making you all very Viking weave. Oh god, I finally got to use it. Remember, I was complaining on the last video that I couldn't use the 4.4 Pentacon. Well, this has 4.4 Pentacon, probably the smallest unit with Pentacon. So back to me uh, complaining that it doesn't have Bluetooth because everything should have Bluetooth. The hip tech should have Bluetooth. Uh, well, the Q5 does have blue. I guess they're trying to like, because the, the Q1 was, was the one, and then there's no two, and then there's this three, and then there's no four, and then there's a 5S now. So it's like they're reserving those those middle digits, those even fucking numbers. Maybe Fio hates even numbers. Maybe it's like a weird superstition thing. Get off my desk. Take this off of my desk. Let's try to make it a little bit more organized. Is it more organized? Not yet. We're moving to the other side of the basement anyway, because I want to put my, my speaker shells as the backdrop. So I look forward to that in the future. It takes a, it's just some moving that has to get done to, to do that. I need a friend. So is this any good? Let's just, um, yes. Now it's THX, AAA technology, blah, 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 blah. So this is probably, no, I can't say it's the smallest thing that has AAA because the little module that they sold to plug into the bottom of the uh, either, not M11, M700, what the hell was the, the portable that was like a little one with that? There was a Q5S, had the swappable bottoms, and it was, the M11 is the big one, it had to be the M7, whatever. Point is, this is THX, it's metal. All around, nice, smooth, nice to hold. I like to do this with it. Like, you know when you got a bar of soap and it's just perfectly rounded and you just keep doing this with it? Well, there you go. You're just going to keep doing this. Only that's going to fuck your wire up. This wire, by the way, is from the um, Klipsch Mac McLaren IM cable. This is a charger cable for that. And apparently it's also a data cable. Didn't need to be a data cable. But Klipsch knows how to treat a lady. The lady being you. Um, Spotifying some daft punk in this. So... As far as design goes, like it's not, you could lose this in a pile and the only thing that would indicate that this is not something that's three years old is, oh, Pentacon's on there. And it's hard to even see it. So you got a little red indicate, not even, it's just a, sh they could have made it, they got an LED indicator here that's showing yellow and that might be bad battery status. So I haven't charged this thing 
since I got it. <laughs> I've been using it a little bit. So yellow is probably like, hey, fix your battery. You get a little red ring around the volume knob. Now the volume knob is knurled perfectly fine. A little bit smaller than the outside of the case. Nice and easy, easy to see indicator. I could, I could turn it off. Click, click, plug that for a second. So like I was saying, 4.4 Pentacon balanced, 2.5 balanced. So if I wanted to plug in like this cable, you can go boom, nice and tight. That is a solid connection. I love that they kept the gold rings around it. What was, wasn't there a feel that they got rid of the gold and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then three and a half millimeter, which is normal. And that is also your line in. So if you feed it signal through the USB-C on the bottom, all three of these will output. Don't run all three headphones at the same time. That's don't. Um, but it's nice and clean and put together. I wouldn't change anything. Because I even like the fact that it's 4.4 Pentacon in the middle. Because usually a Pentacon connector is going to be slightly larger than a 3.5 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter connector. So putting it in the middle sort of center masks it all. You have no buttons on the side or front or back. Like it's just nothing. Nothingness. The only switch on top is the power and volume. The bottom is where things start getting interesting, where you have uh, a bass on and off, which is a little strong. I, I, I gotta still give it to the IFI hip DAC. The bass boost on it is the same bass boost as the IFI Zen DAC. IFI knows what the fuck they're doing with bass boost. This bass boost is a little bit like, it's Fio. It's not like that finessing, like, oh, we're just gonna raise the bass just a little, just, I'm gonna hands it. No, it's just like, Bass, motherfucking bass, bass, bass. You know, it's Honda Civic trunk shake sort of low end. Not terrible, especially with lightweight things. I was using OH7s. You don't ever want to bass boost those, but it's here and you can turn it on. Next to that is a push button that is gain slash recycle. And uh, I guess that's a reset switch because there is no reset button. Usually these have like a little pinhole and I'm assuming you have to hold it down when you turn it on to reset it. Can't find it in the instructions. But yeah, so this is gain. When I got the unit, that was lit up. There was a little, let's see if I turn this on. There is a green LED there indicating the high gain is on. If you press that and hold it. Wait, hold on. No? Well, maybe you don't have to hold it. Oh, I'm dumb. I've been holding it all this time. It's just a quick press. Just kind of like, I guess it's so flush that you're never gonna hit it by accident. And it isn't the sort of gain adjustment that's like when you hit it, you are gonna blow your headphones up and die. It's, 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 it's just a little bit of gain. It's a little tiny bit of gain adjustment. Um, but it comes default on. So if you have sensitive IEMs or something, you wanna switch it to low. Here's your USB-C, which has a little arrow pointing to a little sticker, which I didn't peel off. It just says EIC Q3 uh, 5 volt 2 amp. Like they needed an arrow to tell me that. And then on the far side is a switch that I think we're going to be seeing on a lot of devices because this helps one of the major problems with units like this. It says charge off or on. So when you used to plug things like this or the Q1 or the Q1 Mark II into your phone, there was a pretty good chance instead of just running off its own internal battery and becoming your amp DAC, it would charge from your phone and do that. So you'd be like, why is my phone dying? Battery in this lasts forever, but why is my phone dying? Because it was it was trying to charge. And that was a per model, like Apple, you could pretty much sum up Apple was fine with it because there's one iPhone usually. So they have to look up one Apple product and they go, okay, this is how this works. But Android is like 200 manufacturers. So it never almost ever worked perfectly. So having just a switch that's charge on off is amazing. I have it set to off. I'm not charging this unit. I plug it into my phone. My phone takes over. Give it a second. There it goes. Now it's playing out of this. My phone is no longer losing power. It's just sending data across using the internal batteries here. If I set it to charge on, I don't think it'll actually change anything on the phone or show anything else, but it's just, I, I can assume, I can assume it's going to charge the device. I don't want that. So charge off. That's the tour. That's the whole, that's it. Everyone's like making this huge kerfuffle about this unit. And it's not like, it's not special in any physical way. However, 
There's a reason the BTR5 and Q3, BTR3K are on my desk here. And that's because this is the best thing that Feel makes. BTR5, let me take it out of the DD Hi-Fi case. Hold, please. Can I get it out without looking like a buffoon? Get out! I'm just gonna try to blow it out. There you go. I actually, that worked. That worked a little bit. That counts. This is the best thing Feel makes. And I don't know if it was completely a concerted effort or if it was just fucking blind luck. But the BTR5 is still to this moment the best thing that I've ever heard IEMs play through. I don't know why. I don't know why. And whatever enhancements this had, they brought to the little BTR. 3k which is the baby brother of the btr5 why is everything so small i am not designed for this dd hi-fi cases aside so we got the btr 3k the btr5 best thing they make so you would assume that the newest brand newest thing that they come out with that is also with like the sort of affordable would at least compete and i am happy to announce it does THX or not, because here's the thing, these are not THX things, and it still sounds amazing. This with THX just squeaks out a little bit more efficiency. So here, I'll plug in my Neumanns. I do it all the time, and I keep, because not all of you own them, so I should just keep bringing them out every time I want to do a review until everybody owns Neumanns. Put this up. I'm going to turn the base on. Oof. So it's 150 bucks for this, by the way, in case you're wondering the price tag, which is more than the BTR5, which can do everything this can, and that has Bluetooth. You, you want to plug... The BTR5 into your phone with a wire, you could do that. You want to run balanced? Okay, it's got that. You want an analog volume knob? Oh, it doesn't have that. It does not have that. But this has a menu. You could you could load an EQ through the app. So this has more still features going on for it than you'd think. But where this lacks size to accommodate like a larger battery boom q3 so if you have a btr5 honestly just hold off you this does not like blow it out of the water there's power here i mean there's like it's clear and neutral it's kind of like it reminds me a bit of the well for obvious reasons the triple a thx drop amp the one I reviewed like last week, where it is neutral. It is a, what does it sound like? Just music. It just sounds like fucking music. It's just hammering the exact thing that you think is going to go into it, out of it with more power. Now I'm on unbalanced here. So I'm on the, the weaker side and these are 150 ohm, which is not like super hard to drive, but I, I know. And I, on high gain, I can't, I don't want to touch the top that this can achieve. So, If I get up, what are the odds I could find the competition? Right, let's do it. Fuck it. This is e review. We don't think and calculate. We just get up and run to the other side of the basement. Because I want to find, and I should have got this before the start of the review. Okay. Damn it. Where's the hip deck? Where is the hip deck? Why is the rum gone? Oh, see, this is when you know you've made a mistake as a YouTuber and you've gotten up and you're just wandering, you're staring. Oh, here it is. I found it. I'm the best. You're so right. Okay, so let's go return. To, so I'm going to move the desk there and fix up those shelves. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great because over here it is only is oh, that's cute. Over here is only here because the internet was here and that's why I moved here. 
<clears throat> so size wise, <clears throat> the uh, Q3 is slightly narrower, maybe three eighths of an inch or one centimeter for you European people. Uh, the it's also slightly thinner, couple sh couple millimeters, not not much. This has been the de facto standard for this type of unit. If you want Bluetooth, you didn't buy this. You still don't buy this. You go out and you buy the BTR5, the end, or the Quadelix 5K. Those are where's my Quadelix here? There, there. There's much, much more convenient. Or the BTR 3K. There you go. If you have, want to have, save some money, that's under 100. Those are the most convenient, best sounding things. So you have to have a real reason to go with either one of these over one of those. And the only, I, I, I can't, I can't figure it out. If you want 4.4 Pentacon, you absolutely get, boom, you get this or that, you're, you're set, you're golden. But it isn't that much more power than a BTR5 or a Quadelix. The bass boost on this is, oh, oh, God. The X bass, this button, this magic fuck you button. I haven't charged this thing in forever. This has a weird, like, giant USB port that has to be plugged in. So you'd have to take this wire if you wanted to go and plug it into your laptop. So, which again, I think laptop use. Please, in the description of this video, the comments of this video. Are you interested in the Q3? I, I know you are, because people are, when's the Q3, Zeos, when's the Q3? What's your purpose? Because if you're gonna go and hook it to your phone, why not one of those? Because uh, honestly, LDAC, uh, 900 kilobits per second. That's that's most FLAC, if you look at like FLAC 8, songs are between six and 800, so that's FLAC quality. So why <clears throat> why this form factor? Why the battery powered portable DAC amp that you could like physically turn a knob on? Because this, I want to give this high praise. I'm giving it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I want to give it high praise, and I'm going to. But I'm starting in 2020, like COVID land. I'm locked away. You should all be locked away if you can be and not commuting or going out. All I could think about is sitting on your couch and you want something that sounds better than your phone. Well, your phone won't have a headphone jack anyway, so you're going to need something like this. But then you don't want Bluetooth for a reason. You, you just, I don't know, Bluetooth ran over your dog when you were a kid. Uh, I don't know what the reasons are for that. So you want to wire it. Or you've got a laptop. Like that, that, this is the only reason I could see buying either one of these. Either one of these is I have a laptop. I travel from the bathroom to the basement to the bedroom on my laptop. And I want to plug in good headphones. Go, go, fuck this wire. Good headphones. These are the Zeus, by the way. I'm going to pull these out and link to them again. I, I want to play good headphones from my laptop. And most laptop sound cards are garbage. So, yeah, you could Bluetooth to an LDAC, you know, BTR5. But most laptops actually can't produce LDAC. It's very fucking strange. Only phones can. So then you have to wire it. So then you're dongle dacking it using just like, hold on a second, like this. It's an IFI cable. So you could, no, wait, that's a female. That's the exact wrong thing I needed to do. How does that help me? How do you help me? Oh, you're just to convert to go into a USB-C laptop. Point is... Why? I, I need to know, because I'm a reviewer. I have to listen to a product and tell you, this sounds fucking amazing. It does. It at least competes with the BTR5, which is a, a pretty substantial fucking claim. It doesn't have as good a bass boost as this, which is why you would get this. The reason you'd get the hip deck is because the bass boost is, you know, a crack. So if you're a bass nut, you, you want this one. But why are you getting these? Help me understand. I read all the comments. Well, for like the first 12, 15 hours. I'll check up and go, ha, 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 heart, uh, like, like. Oh, I'll go, uh, I want I want to know what the majority of people watching this video are going to do. If you go out and buy one of these Q3s, wonderful. It's a great product. But where are you going with it? What's your purpose? Is it laptop? 
or is it foam? Are you one of those people who wants, because you, you can't cock ring, you gotta go out and get blue tack, blue tack into the back of your phone. I will link to blue tack in the description. Please do not use these things for their intended purpose. You could use them in the bedroom for sexual enhancement, but don't, don't wrap like around your, that doesn't make any sense. We have screens that are the entire size. Why would a rubber band ever? How are you even supposed to use that? On anything, even portable daps don't even have like enough space to wrap it around. So you're gonna blue tack, and that's also why it comes with the um, little silicone thing. So you get some, you get the wires to put on your phone, get the silicone pad for the back, and then you put the cock rings around it, or you put the, or you glue it on with blue tack. Why are you not just getting one of those? Because you could dongle. You could, oh, I don't need to do that. Watch this. I dropped that one. Obviously, it's bad luck. Don't pick it up. Here, forty-four one. It just connected. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm having a hard time here, boys and girls, because I had this thing for like two weeks, and I'm like, okay, I'll try that, and every time I went to play with it, because you got to play with things, because you're Zios, before the review, it was annoying, because I'm plugging it in, I'm plugging it in with a wire, like this, and it's like, why am I doing this? Why, why would I ever want to plug in a unit again? I, I think... We should pretty much stop this now. This. I think it's over. The, this shouldn't be marketed as like laptop glue-on sound cards for the top of your laptop. That's it. I don't see I don't see the purpose of it on a phone. When when things that are because this is cheaper, it's doing the exact same task that this is doing with digital buttons instead of a knob. And it has Bluetooth. Like, it has the ability to be like, all right, you know what? Boop. Just connect magically through the air. And sound essentially exactly the same. LDAC Bluetooth is fucking perfect. It's, it's 900 kilobits per second. You'd have to be a re... You'd have to really sit down with, like, measurement rigs to figure out what's, what's, what's missing now that you've done this. And then this can just go and shove that over there. So, Fio, thank you for sending me the Q3. Um, I love it. It sounds great. But I'm, I'm, it's going to be the same. If they sent me a Q4 in a year and it's still a plug-in, no Bluetooth, just DAC amp, I'm going to ask the same questions. Only one more year would have passed, and I don't know if anything new has come up. Like, we can't even advance the wiring. Like, these wires, like, I'm, I'm so upset that they don't have just like a little flat wire, like plugs in, and then it's just straight back, and then there's a little, like, and then one straight up. Like, just get, eliminate the wire. Like, if it was just a bridge, a little bridge there that could just fit, like, 90% of phones, that would be okay. But this is this is the reality of these things. This, right here. And I can't fucking stand that. What, what, this, no. I mean, it actually isn't that bad to hold right now, but, but that, wireless. Well, like, all right, so I'm... I'm Bringing my own personal bias into this because that's why you come to this channel. It's, it's I have to ask the tough questions. Like if someone else will probably review this and be like, it's fantastic. Fio has, has upgraded the DAC to the hold on, I want to say to the the new efficient AK4462 Velvet sound DAC with XMO. I don't give a shit. I'm just here to listen. And then to figure out why. Why are we still why is this still a thing? Maybe the Fio Q1 Mark II should have been the last of this type of thing. Maybe this IFI Zendac should have been peak portable DAC amp that needs wires. Because everything right now, everything right now, and this is, Zeos of four years ago would have never predicted this. Everything right now that's a digital amplifier, DAC, should be wireless. There's no reason not to. Unless you're super worried about someone stealing your Bluetooth signal, there, there's there's no no reason to, to wire that. This with Bluetooth, 
if I didn't have to plug like an external fucking jumper over to make this, I think this has input, right? No, it's got two headphones out. It doesn't even have, I don't have the option to plug an input into this. I have the op option to plug an input into this, but if I jumped or jumper this, it would be the BCR5, which is just as good. And I wouldn't have like a, re like dude, mm. I'm sorry, I lack the reason. Zeos is lacking, I'm, I'm not grasping the concept anymore. It's kind of like, like why, why, why is this carbureted? It's like in 2073, every car is electric. Tesla, you know, they branched out, they sold battery technologies to Ford and Toyota. Everybody's got electric cars. Everything's great. You can emulate the power bands of old muscle cars so that it feels just like it. Switch to four-wheel drive, just rear-wheel drive. Electric cars are perfect. Here comes a carbureted four-cylinder economy car. Why? Why? We're not doing that anymore. Oh, because people love the smell of gasoline. Yeah, look, I'm a motorhead. You watch my car wash video. My, my Caprice is loud as shit. But I'll understand when society has moved beyond the gas until it's a very niche product. And this is a very niche product. Because even this, even the BTR5, everyone on earth doesn't have one of these. Everyone's got an AirPod, uh, AirBuds or something. But this, like a quality Bluetooth device, still niche. So this is even more niche. I have a feeling that uh, my um, I'm going to try to focus this channel on complaining about things that shouldn't exist anymore. I'm happy that it, I'm happy that Fiat did a great job. It had Bluetooth. The new the new X Duo, the X Duo Five Plus. It's the uh, the uh, X Duo Five Balanced. It this is the best one they got right now. Is the Plus that's out, and you have to add a Bluetooth module. At least they have a Bluetooth module, but the new one, the balanced one, Bluetooth is built in. Because X-Duo knows. No one wants to fucking wire anything anymore. I love the little ridge pattern from the, from the, from the yoga mat is on there. So Fio needs to um, stop making things that don't have a Bluetooth attached. Just blue, blue, blue in it. Blue it. Blue it. Even if I had to buy a module and pop it on the bottom, that'd be fine. I don't want to wire things anymore. It's fucking annoying. I was sitting on my toilet with my phone, and then I, thank God I had that wire, that longer wire, so I could put it somewhere else, and then I had the wire coming off to the headphones. I'm trying to be calm now, but this is it. This is a sort of this is a sort of crazy that Zeos is coming up with. It's like why, why are you selling this to me, lady, lady? Nice tattoos. Wait, those aren't tattoos. Um, why? Why am I buying this? Because I don't see the reason. Maybe, maybe going to like Can Jam and you want that little bit extra quality you get from just a straight wire connection. But at that point, you just go out and I guess this would convert your phone for $150 into like the equivalent of like an M11. That, that's it. That's, that's, that's the only thought process. Like if you want... Just this and this, done. But you know what? Uh, I bet if I blindfolded you and put a BTR5, which is by the same fucking company that this is, you wouldn't tell the difference. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. So that's my review of the Q3. Bit of a rant. Maybe a little bit of the crazies going on in here, but it's fine. Also, it's getting chilly down here because it was like 36 degrees last night. And these windows are single pane, so <laughs> black them out with curtains. Um, this video is over. I will link to this. I'll link to all the shit I talk about. I always do in every description of every video. Um, if you like these videos, which um, I'm not sure a lot of you are going to like this one, because you've been so looking forward to this, and you want me to sell it to you, and I'm just, I'm not that salesman. I'm not the. I was. We were at. A, I bought a truck. I bought a pickup truck, and I was the used car lot, and I could just. I get skeeved out by salesmen, and I don't want to be that. I want to tell you if something's great, and then you make your own decisions. But if I just can't see a reason, I can't. I can't fake that. So get that wallpaper in the description, because, I mean, that's really the reason you're here. I want to thank this beautiful Godox light, by the way, for allowing the wallpapers to actually come through. Because if I shut that light off, you can see the colors get all messed up. Because it's, I have the little tiny light there, but it's like warm and it throws that off. But this is 3,300K. Mm. So wallpapers will look much better in the future. It's worth $1,000 for this whole setup, obviously, already. Links to that. Links to these things. 
Patreon and Subscribestar, which allow me to do these videos without taking bribes from companies, which is wonderful. I've never been sponsored by for a video except for the Dakoni pad video, because that's fucking work and I hate work. Um, so thank you for everyone who's supported this channel on Patreon and Subscribestar over the years. Hopefully you will do so in the future. Uh, if you don't know why you should do that, see these reviews early. Ask me any questions you want on platform, although I will be massively delayed because as I get like more and more people supporting, more and more questions come in and the more and more questions come in and I'm like, I'm trying to fix my, my basement. There's, and then I go back and it's like, I have 20 minutes and it's like one question I can... And participate in the yard sales, which um, for the 1st to the 10th of every month, I will take units that I was sent like this and I'll put it back in its original packaging and I'll be like, who wants to buy this for me? And you offer what you think it's worth. Now, I was shipping half, shipping international, but uh, COVID happened, and then there's no more commercial flights, so they can't put the UPS packages in the bottoms of airplanes going to Sweden and stuff. So all the prices to ship internationally have basically doubled. Or more. It's, it's ridiculous. So I would still do it, but I'm advising you to pay attention to the shipping rates between U.S. and your country. If you want to bid on a fifty dollar on a hundred dollar item or hundred fifty dollar item, you bid a hundred, you pay a hundred, and then I ship it, and it costs another hundred for shipping. You may want to, you know, my heater came on. Anyway, yard sales first eight cents of every month. I also ship for free to the continental United States because UPS doesn't give a shit. But um, yeah, those are the three reasons to join, except for the fourth reason, which is the $10 a month uh, private behind the scenes Telegram chat that you can ask me any questions all the time and you will live in my phone right here. Boom. See this house of patronage, safe for work. I had to market safe for work. There's a not safe for work chat. You don't have to worry about that one. But boom, you go in there. I have three ats. Let's see what the first at is. Hold on. At Zeos Pantera. They just want to show me something. I have no space in my phone. Oh my God. Silver Fostex TH. Are those 909s? 900s? What? A question mark, exclamation point. That's one. Let's see what else the second one is. This guy says the Alira sound demo because I, I just did the uh, those the triangle Alara. He said Alira. It's Alara. The sound demo for those came out fucking perfect. So he's there popping over there. I thanks. So that's a compliment. Let's see if there's an actual question. Uh, that's a question for ZS Montero. So somebody else posted from Nate. Nate, has anyone compared the Silica Phoenix to the P2? Is it worth the extra $145? So I'm going to hit the little voice button and go, um, yes. If you want a little bit warmer, darker sound, yes. The P2 is still great. P2 is a Civic, is a Sendi Iva, but mm, my God, Phoenix. I'm looking at them right now. They're telling you to buy them. See, that's those. So that that's how I'll answer your questions. And you can go, um, yes. If you want a little bit warmer. So if you want to be in that chat, that's $10 a month. And you can get to that via Patreon or Subscribestar. Both the benefits the tiers are the same. Um, I've been doing this way too long for just something that I'm like, not poo-pooing. It's just, it's, it's an obsolete piece of tech, as far as I'm concerned. It could be a great sounding thing. It's obsolete. Um, but you got a nice wallpaper out of it, so be happy. Don't forget to check out also Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums. I should say that at the beginning of the video, again, from the beginning, because not enough people know that that place exists. And every product I review, mods there will make an official post concerning it. So if you're a part of the forums, you have an account, you can sign up with Google, by the way. I think you can sign up with Google and Twitter. You can make your own email account and everything, or you can just go, boom, I'm gonna sign up with Google, boom, I'm gonna comment on this thing, boom, boom. So there are official posts for every product I've reviewed and have released. So you can go there and have nice long discussions away from the other audio forums that exist, which those reasons are the reasons we made a forum because it's like, mm, it's, it's the same reason, like, mm, it's like, got to do things right, at least in 2020. So, so this guy bought the Phoenix, a very nice wooden headphone stand and a balanced cable that will work. Baller baller. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow for another review of another product and hopefully it gives me more like a reason. I need a reason to like something. It's just, this is not it. This is the iPod designed for iPhones. No. It's a great. It's, it is great. It is great, but it's, I don't care.